Hey, what's happening? Coach Chris, Critical Bench, sitting here in the office and going over some great pre-bedtime muscle building snacks or mini meals, if you want to call them that. This is a, a, a time of day where I struggle big time sometimes with uh, cr late night cravings. Uh, you probably do too. Um, and you kind of, you just have to set yourself up for success with this one. Uh, the best thing I can do, and I, I'm not, I'm not like, you know, living life under 10% body fat day to day, like some people. Uh, <laughs> I, but I try like hell to to keep off the body fat, and while also helping support my muscle. So during the day, it's so easy. Uh, breakfast has always been e an easy time of day for me. I can very simply eat like you know eggs. Um, I can have, uh, I love to blend up my own fresh smoothies in the morning, spinach, uh, so a few frozen fruits, uh, loaded up with some good protein powder, I can throw flaxseed in there, uh, coconut oil, uh, oil in there, whatever I want. And those taste great and sustain me just fine. L lunches, I can typically just hammer out, you know, some leftover uh, chicken or fish or steak or something like that or some cold cuts boar's head of course uh, yeah, salad of course fruit uh, fruits veggies um, and even dinner I can be good but it's like that you get that late night craving sometimes and I have a couple young kids and man it is easy to reach for the wrong thing uh, at night and I'm not saying carbs are bad at night it just depends on what type of carbs a lot of people swear by some late night carbs uh, because carbs will help they not, not only will satiate you and satisfy your hunger they will help you just dial it back relax a little bit and typically help you fall asleep kind of like that a little bit to a lesser degree the, the feeling that we get um, you know after Thanksgiving after like a, a high carb really just a high calorie meal and we all feel real lethargic and want to take a nap after a big meal to a lesser extent, do, you, you want to try and go for that same thing at night as long as it's clean, right? So I got some foods here that we can, that you can uh, incorporate into your diet here that's pre-bedtime, that's going to be good for you, help with your fat loss, help with your muscle building. Uh, one would be like cottage cheese. Uh, and you know, for anybody that's like the debate over the type of protein and stuff, you know, while whey protein obviously is kind of the, the king, uh, casein protein, which is you know really derived from uh, you know milk protein, it comes from like the from uh, from like curd or you know I th even have a note here um, that the that the uh, it's is the predominant form of protein in milk. Uh, it's the curd portion of milk, right? And the like leftover stuff from like the uh, cheese making process. And that is kind of like more like what you're finding in your, in your cottage cheese, your, your regular cheese, your hard cheeses. Um, I love a, a really good quality hard cheese. Um, so something like that uh, right before you go to bed. So cottage cheese with some natural peanut butter. I love, I'm a huge, if you if you have an allergy to, to, to nuts or peanuts or whatever, I, I feel bad for you. Uh, I'm a huge proponent of, of eating nuts all kinds, whether it's cashews, pistachios, walnuts, uh, regular uh, peanuts, um, and, a, and a good natural peanut butter. Uh, fantastic. You can put it on a rice cake. In fact, I ate that earlier today. It's a great, like... Uh, if you're on the go and you need something fast, smear a nice big tablespoon of a good natural peanut butter on a rice cake. Uh, good for you, uh, good calories, uh, what your body needs. But So pre-bedtime, the cottage cheese with peanut butter. Actually, salmon is something that's really good. I know that you're not thinking, oh, I'm going to eat a nice piece of salmon before I go to bed. Uh, but maybe even if you have a bigger dinner, you know, and want a little extra helping of salmon. It's just phenomenal for many reasons. Uh, you, 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 your omega fats and stuff, but it's great for, for muscle building. Uh, great just protein source. Um, 
Greek yogurt, a really good quality Greek yogurt. Uh, so not your your, your typical yogurt that can be loaded with sugar. Go for something that's a little bit more plain, that's lower in sugar, and, and you can add some, uh, some stuff to it. If you want to sprinkle some flax seeds in there, want to maybe throw some strawberries, some blueberries. Uh, berries are just really good because they're low glycemic. So throw some, some berries to help sweeten up your yogurt a little bit. That's a great little pre-bedtime uh, muscle building treat. Uh, low fat cheese with some raw veggies, right? So get some, get some, some cheese that's more low fat like Swiss and have that with some veggies. I mean, quite often I will slice up like some peppers, green, red, yellow, orange peppers, um, which is an awesome, awesome for many reasons, loaded with vitamin C. I think a pepper has way more vitamin C than like your, your, your other items out there like your oranges and strawberries. Peppers are super, super awesome for you. Um, or any other vegetables that you know you really like. Um, you know, snow peas or, or uh, you know, even a little bit of some carrots is okay. People get crazy about carrots because they got sugar in them. You know, I'm not too worried about sugars if they're coming from like good sources, uh, natural sugars uh, from f some fruits and vegetables. So, and keep those veggies raw. The more often you can eat raw veggies, the better off you are when we start cooking them. And I mean, maybe a little bit of a, st a steaming process is okay. If we cook them a lot, but you're cooking away the nutrients. Um, canned tuna with olive oil. So you can't, I mean, tuna got me through college. So tuna is a great uh, source of, of protein uh, for muscle building before we go to bed. Because when we go to bed, our body does a lot of stuff anabolically, right? And, and our hormones and how our body functions when we're sleeping. Um, if we function much, much better when it comes to muscle building uh, at rest and when our bodies are fed with some good quality nutrients. Uh, just everything just works better and to our benefit so that when we wake up, uh, we, we're, we're just in a better place. Um, you know, s sleep obviously is, is huge but there are things that you should be eating, like what I'm listing right now, before you go to bed, to really get more out of your workouts. All that hard time that you're putting into the gym uh, is all for naught if you're not filling your body up with good quality stuff, and especially right before our bodies get the chance to finally like be at a, at a rested state and and be uh, and going through the, 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 all the growth and, and, and the release of all these hormones, um, you know, our testosterone is highest right, like right when we wake up in the morning. So do yourself a, a favor and, and, and eat some of these foods close to bedtime. Uh, and uh, lastly, well not lastly, almost lastly, uh, a casein protein shake with some coconut oil. So instead of a whey protein shake, get, some, get yourself some casein uh, protein and make a shake with that. Uh, that's actually a great time to take a, a shake. It can satisfy you enough where you don't feel like you need to, you know, reach into something to, to eat. And you put a little bit of uh, coconut oil in there, which also helps. I mean, coconut oil has, you know, obviously been shown to have a lot of positive uh, effects on us, whether it's used, uh, consumed, or uh, on our skin. And then, last but not least, I even have. I think this is like seven things. How about a really good jerky? So I have a pork jerky here. Um, I'll have a piece of it right now just because I'm a little bit hungry. Uh, find yourself a good one. I'm not talking Slim Jims, okay? I'm talking like a good quality, maybe homemade jerky. Um, sometimes you get lucky at certain places, sell like homemade jerky. Uh, look for it. Make it yourself. Some of the best jerky I've ever had is, is homemade jerky. You know, people made, you know, from, uh, you know, they they go out and they do some hunting and they make their own jerky and it's fantastic. So I highly recommend having that kind of you know, pre-bed or just as a snack throughout the day if you're trying if you need to eat something because you're starving. You don't want to eat anything that's unhealthy, gonna you know cause you know fat gain or unwanted weight gain reach for something like a like a good jerky and uh, that'll satisfy you so 
I hope uh, you found some of this information helpful. I, I wasn't trying to get sciencey uh, or, or into like, uh, you know, research and, and, and stuff. I just wanted to give you some good go-to sources uh, of things to have to help you on your muscle building journey right before you go to bed when a lot of us, I know I do, get very, very hungry and we just need to be able to put something good into our bodies so that when we wake up or we don't wake up hungry in the middle of the night. Coach Chris, Team Critical Bench, so glad you got to, oh, what, you want some jerky? I thought I smelled jerky. Mm. Can I have some? Yeah. Hope you're well, buddy. Thanks. You're welcome. Coach Brian, just hanging out. All right, we'll see you again. Hey, check out this free report you're about to see, and please uh, drop some comments for us. Click that notification bell. We'll see you soon.